Riot has implemented the system that punishes players for going AFK a while ago. Not the first 3 minutes remake surrender, I'm talking about a mid-match rage quit or ADC. But this system has obviously not shown any positive changes, since players just AFK or disconnect entirely when the game does not go their way. Unlike in higher elos, players are more inclined to AFK in lower ranks. Maybe it's a smart player with a bot account and it happens that they lost their first placement game, so they just log out and swap to a different account. Everyone has an account selling website nowadays, or a random league normie that simply has a terrible Wi-Fi connection. If you go to the league graph, you will clearly see that the top 8 servers have the highest AFK stats. It's because these are weak regions, so Diamond Plus players in EU or NA create or buy accounts in those servers in order to hit challenger to brag or just to transfer these accounts back to their main server and abuse the high LP gains. So what does Riot do to stop AFKs? They simply allow you to FF and you lose 20% LP while the AFK person loses full LP, which is not even worth for the time and effort spent. One Riot responded by saying that the LP mitigation system calculates the chances of winning the game at the moment the player goes AFK and then refunds the LP accordingly. I find it interesting because if a player goes AFK after the 3 minute mark, then the chances of winning for both teams are perfectly 50% and they did not mention that the MMR will still get hit by the remake. MMR has for sure higher value than the actual LP since it dictates one's LP gains. Korea has a really low AFK chance because Riot forced players to use their ID to create accounts. I'm not saying that this system should be implemented in the major regions but it proves that having more than one smurf account can cause issues. You think Riot should update their LP mitigation system? Anyways, like and subscribe for more similar content. Goodbye.